Hey everybody, welcome back to Shino, and this is episode 56 of our Winter Wonderland. And we are dealing with, eh, it's, it's starting to calm down now. We had a very high rift activity going just a little bit ago. Uh, a lot of days have passed in game. Um, I've been doing a lot of work around here, so I did convert over all my copper. Um, getting ready to make some more. I made some more lanterns. I'm running out of wax. Um, I've got more bee. Uh, I've got more uh, honeycomb. I just don't. I just haven't converted over the wax yet. Uh, so, anyways, I got to work on that. Um, and let's take a look. Last episode we were building, and I was working on the hay barn, and uh, got it finished. So let's take a walk through here. Now I have gone through also. I've been putting a few signs up, uh, just kind of identifying where things are at. So I know it's kind of hard to read. I'll get a little closer, but you know, blacksmith shop, home, apiary, museum, it's all listed there. Um, so we can uh, move on down through here. And this is the new area that's been built. So uh, we did the uh, hay barn uh, in the last episode. And I said I was going to work on the chicken coop, which I have. Uh, I had to sacrifice one. Uh, but we got the uh, chicken coop done. And I got a little chicken farm up there, a little house for them uh, to be able to get into. Uh, so... We'll go over here and take a look at it and see. It looks like there's eggs all over the place here, but a little place in here for them to lay eggs um, inside there. So nice little house here. I kind of like it. And I brought some feed, so let's feed them. And I did go through also and put the um, cob down here on the ground, uh, just to make it look like where chickens have been scratching. Um, so just to give it a little bit of little bit of extra little something something there to it there we go and a double gate going in and out just kind of keep the chickens out one of them got a little couldn't control them too much so had to put her down this one up there you go all right and uh, of course you saw we did the hay barn now, i haven't done a whole lot in here i said i was gonna put the cob floor in i haven't I haven't got storage in here yet, so a little bit of project to work on here, but this is where I need some of the lanterns at. It was really dark in here. And then this is what I worked on um, between episodes uh, as well as with the chicken coop. I uh, also wanted to work on the tannery, So, and I really like this build. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing it, using a lot of different textures and materials uh, to kind of create the look I was looking for. Uh, nice little covering area here as we go through. Uh, and this is all path block leading through. A little fenced in area. I'm going to drop in some plants in there here shortly. Same thing on this side. Uh, let's look at it from the back side over here. And I need to be a little weary. Man, I had a lot of wolves in this area. Um, and then uh, you've got the main structure, then like a little tower thing here off to the side of it. Um, the area between, um, you'll see just a, just a, little uh english alley there what i like to call it. i remember i used to go up to the city of york um when i was in england i used to love going up there and i'd go down along peter gate and see the little alleys going down through there and they were nice and tight like that so anyway so here we go we've got our uh tannery going now i don't have near as many of the um uh barrels in here as we had before uh, kind of down Scott because I'm getting to the end of the series so now we're just working on aesthetics and this is a neat little thing uh, for storing water I got a little water source block there but you know you come over here you get water you got to run over here and put it in there so I thought I'm gonna put a water source block a little closer so um, just use some regular sandstone and then I chiseled it uh, just to fit into a smaller area uh, you put the trap door on there and that creates that wall so water won't fall out of there so I open it up I can access the water, put it into my barrels, close it back up. Easy peasy. And then this area does not have a whole lot going on to it right now. Uh, it's very brown inside here. <laughs> but uh, I, I want to go ahead and bring a few things in here. You know, I, I mentioned uh, I like having kind of things uh, divided up in my builds, uh, little areas. And so if I'm in here working, it's getting late and I need to go to bed. Uh, would like to have a little bed up in here. I uh, might put an oven up in here too. Who knows? Okay. 
Uh, one of the things, and I do like having the sunk floor. I don't know if you've ever seen uh, buildings done like that before. Uh, I know B Dubs did it. Um, B Double O in um, is is um, uh, building with B Double O series uh, ran for ten years. Uh, he started again, but he had some some buildings where you know you create the structure, but then lower it down just a little bit to give yourself more space than, than what you normally would without having to go as high so i liked it and uh yeah so then we can continue along over here like i said i've got the pathway going this way i have not finished the pathways to connect all this together um, so we need to work on that but in the amount of time that we have been here yeah we got pigs and uh all of our uh pregnant sheep have given birth so I uh, should be able to start milking some of those here real quick all right let's see it looks like I need to grab some food anyway no I like this I really do this has been a fun build for me uh, I need to get some more lighting over here uh, primarily why I built the additional uh, copper plates because I am uh, used up a lot of my copper in fact I am completely out of copper now I've converted it all over, but as I said, we're getting close to the end of this series, so no biggie. Uh, but this road does continue. I did this a while back. I don't know if I ever showed it because of the issue we're having with the, with the world save file, but there we go. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Let me sleep through the night, get some food, and I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. Uh, it's... It was weird. Uh, I was up there in that bed sleeping and I could hear all the raccoons out there. And it reminded me of the John Candy movie, Great Outdoors. Uh, the raccoons going through the trash can, uh, digging through it. Because that's what I could hear is that little chirping sound. So, uh, that was a little flashback to younger days. All right. Let's get out here. So, there's a couple of things I want to do. The, the big thing that we want to do this episode is you know i said we got that other piece of forlorn armor um, i want to get the entire set that's what we're working on and uh the um oh i don't think i can jump down there to it but it's this guy right here this trader uh that's down by our teleporter um has the forlorn armor um and there's certain traders that do have them and so uh, what i've been doing is is i'll go to this trader that's over here by me uh, this guy and I'll go and I'll sell um, the shield uh, I'm usually you can sell a shield pretty easy to him he'll buy one but I get six gears for it um, he also sell, he buys bread so I'll mix up a bunch of bread um, and take over there um, and then whenever I go back down to the teleporter there's that other trader that's not too far away the building materials trader and a lot of times they'll buy um, clay um, and different building materials so that's what I've been doing, is running around, um, selling as much stuff as I possibly can to all these different traders, and then buying the Forlorn Armor piece. Well, I'm actually quite quite a ways down uh, and almost out of gear, so it's going to take a while for me to get some more gathered back up, because uh, each one of these pieces I, uh, is 36 uh, gears <laughs> for each one, and there's three pieces. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of time to to get all that together, um, and then you got to repair it. So uh, I am uh, these do use the iron uh, to repair them, so you don't need steel. Uh, but I am almost out of iron. That's the last the iron I've got, and you need 12 pieces to repair each one. Uh, so I don't have enough iron to be able to uh, repair the next piece once I get it. So a couple things here I got to work on, but. For right now, I want to get this done. And uh, if you, you know, hit the H, you'll see that you start off with the chains first. So we got the three chains on there, and that, again, that's changing the uh, durability amount on it. So taking it from broken to damaged, and you see the durability went from 500 to 1,000. Um, but the protection tier one, still protection tier one. Okay, so that one's done. And now we take the three iron plates across the top and that will take it all the way to a completely repaired forlorn hope helm uh, with this you now have 1600 durability 
and then all the stats that we were looking at uh, from previous. So that is done. Excellent. Uh, there's one of the shields right there. And shields, they're not that bad. Um, you need a plate, and that's what I've been using. You use any of the plates. Um, so I've been using copper plates. I've been using iron plates. You know, whatever I've got available to make it. Uh, that's what I've been making it out of. Um, actually, no, you can't do it on the copper. It's got to be the, the bismuth or the uh, uh, tin bronze. Uh, it's got to be at least a tier two metal, I think, on it. So anyways, but uh, I've got that done. All right, so let's go put this on our display piece. And uh, so if you're watching uh, my other series, Modded to the Max, you'll know I've been complaining about the number of wolves uh, that have been in my area in that game. Um, I logged in and I was inside the museum um, and I came running out and there were four wolves right in this area. <laughs> uh, I ended up killing uh, one of them uh, right outside here and then uh, damaged a couple of the other ones and they ran off over that way but uh, I had to go back inside uh, the museum to kind of heal back up uh, so I'm a little shy on the wolves right now not like them too much um, let's see all right let's get this piece on and I don't know if I've shown let me put it on myself Hit F5. Oops. There we go. So you can see how it looks. <laughs> oh, cracks me up. Anyways, kind of a fun thing to play with. All right. Shift. There we go. So there we got our two pieces of forlorn armor. And we need one more piece on that. Um, I also have a surprise, but I'm going to wait until almost the end of the episode, the end of the series before I let it out. But I happened to find uh, an item, a very rare item, or at least I've never seen it before. So I consider it rare, but I was able to find a rare item that uh, I was able to purchase. So I'm excited about that one. Okay. Um, now there's one thing else I would like to do. Um, I am getting a little leery, or getting a little tired of having to go around here and open and close doors. Um, so I think I would like to make the uh, floor plates. So let's take a look at that. I think I've got everything I need for that. And we're going to make the stone ones maybe let's go look at our stone i know i've gone through a lot of a lot of my um cut pieces or my uh regular stone stuff uh i'm getting very I'm completely out now of uh what was this granite yeah that was my granite so i'm completely out of the granite down to 16 cobblestone uh completely out of the andesite cobblestone Still doing pretty good there. I've used up a lot of my um, sandstone and my conglomerate. Um, you can kind of see where it's at. So, But I had a spot over here that I was keeping. Yeah, there we go. Keeping some slabs. And I do have a lot of bony soil. I may have to do some. Do some work with those. Okay. So let's go back into the handbook. And we're going to look at the floor plate. And we're making the stone one, so we're going to need sticks. And I am down to my last chest of sticks. Come on, spring. I'm going to need a seven. Let's make some more. I think I had some more stones here, didn't I? There, here. I don't know if I need quite that many. Let's make Yeah, twenty will be we'll do twenty. 
All right. So if you're familiar, or if you're not familiar, uh, this is an item from um, a Medieval Expansion Pack. And it basically creates an auto-opening door for you. And I primarily like it for just exiting out of doors. Um, because when I leave an area, uh, I don't want to have to turn around and shut it back. So if I go this way and I go through, now if I open it and I click it, it'll close back. Cool? So I like that. We're going to put a couple of these roundabout all my places here. And now on these doors, because of where they open up, we only need one, but I'm going to put it in two spots there. There we go. Perfect. Love it. Let's go do a few more. This one I'll wait on on that one because I don't, I want to finish that floor off. But the blacksmith shop needs one. For sure. I'm not going to put one on that door. A little bit of a delay. Let's let it reset. Oh, you know what? I think maybe the reason on this one is because the way the door is marked. Uh, the way I have that door set up, technically it is uh, open at this point. That's closed um, because of the way I've got the door set up. So let's go in here and we'll turn this around. We'll do it just the normal way. There we go. Cool. Auto doors. Love it. I uh, won't be able to put one here, will I? Hmm. So, I wonder what would happen if I put one right here. Ah, same thing because the way the door is configured. Okay. Well, I'll wait on that one. I'll figure out something else to do on that one, but here we go. And I think the other place that we need to have one, let's go up here to our factory. And we're going to be spending a couple of the, the next couple episodes, we are going to be spending up here in this factory, uh, getting this done. Hey, hello, Temporal Rift. Um, floor's done. So I got that part of it done. I moved some chest over here and started gathering up all the resources that I need. And uh, I had a, this is not for me. Uh, we had, uh, what you call it, a fox in here. I actually had two foxes in here. And I ended up killing him here. But uh, he was, there was a bunch of rabbits that had spawned in here. And uh, uh, he was chasing them around. I kept finding little corpses everywhere and trying to figure out what was going on. <laughs> Got to find out there was a fox in here chasing them around. So. Got yeah, a bunch of dead rabbits in here. Uh, but anyways, I did uh, start bringing over all the resources we need. You know, we had the uh, uh, the stuff from the pulverizer that was over there. And again, what we want to have in here is, I believe we're going to set up this area over here. And a line here is going to be our health hammers. And we're going to have multiple health hammers uh, striking an anvil. So I'm going to try to put three health hammers per anvil. And so we'll probably have one, two, maybe three in here. We'll see how many we can get across here. But that's one of the things I want to have set up in here. Um, I want to have some pulverizers set up in here. And then what I thought would be really cool is I'm thinking about creating something of a crate. But a large, a large crate um, that I, I can use to store almost like a pallet uh, from a warehouse. Um, but then have a, a tall side on every on each side of it that I can put all my metal in after it's been worked. So that'll be a, an area to kind of store the metals in. And again, it's going to be for aesthetics because, like I said, we're we're towards the end of this, uh, so we don't need to to worry about you know creating too much more stuff. So we're just going to convert over a whole bunch of metal that we can and store it up along in here. And then the um, uh, bloomeries, uh, which I need to get fired up. Um, I want to put them down probably on 
uh, a lower level, um, like down in this area where all the firing's at. And oh, that one's broke. Does this mean this is done? Hey, all right, I got some more steel done. Cool. All right. So, um, but anyways, yeah. So that's going to be what we're going to be working on in the next couple of episodes. Uh, a little bit of access area to get up on the roof. And what I visualize having up here is we're going to chain uh, several windmills together um, into one power line. And, uh, and then have all three of those plus the water mill uh, operating um, this line of, of equipment here. And then the pulverizers that will be set up probably out along this area. All right. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. Again, we're getting close to the end of the series. There's a few things that I need to button up and get taken care of. So we're going to be working on those. Uh, I'll continue to do a lot of stuff in between episodes. But uh, thank you so much for spending this time with me. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, hope you've had fun during this series. I know I have. And uh, if, you have had, if you have had a lot of fun and you haven't done so already, go ahead and, and hit that subscribe button. Uh, and turn on notifications so you'll know when I have more videos coming up. Other than that, we'll see you next time. Take care.